Hello folks, I'm here to show you how to save hundreds of dollars a month on cigarettes. This is the Powermatic Mini. It's from Amazon. It's $17. I get this tobacco here. These are the tubes. I generally prefer this one. They all basically work the same. People, some people have the preference, preferences. Excuse me. Language. What you want to do is get you a cookie sheet. I find this box pretty convenient. Put that on there like that. I keep my tobacco in one of these. You can find tobacco for $10, $15 a bag. Sometimes it's more or less. I get this bag, $10, $11. 15 or 20 I hear up in Canada where there's a place online I'll try to get to you later I keep it in this cookie tin helps keep it a lot more fresher put me a little bit here at the bottom of the bag everything is ready keep it fresh seal this bag all up you do not want your tobacco to get dry I'll take you a piece of tubes they call Put them right here so that they're ready to go. So if we open this machine, put a little bit in there, close it. I've seen the machines with cranks. I have them also. They're the second best one, but they're $35. They're heavy, cumbersome, hard to work with. And you get the voids here between the tobacco and the thing. Once you have it filled with tobacco, you simply slide it on there, shut the lid, and slide it. Perfect, full, all the way up to here. I'm going to show you how fast it takes just to roll 10, 20 cigarettes. You'll get the feeling how much you want to put in there. Put too much tobacco, you won't be able to slide it as easy. And you'll get the idea. So no, you've seen the other videos with the gentleman with the cranks. Like I said, I've had one of them before. They work good also, but they cost twice as much, weigh five times as much, and simply not as easy and efficient as this little thing. I've been rolling cigarettes for 20 years now, and tried them all. The electric, power, all of them. I see some people keep their box of tubes here. They have to keep reaching for one at a time. I mean, I have them right here, ready to go. I to keep this lighter here to keep them separated, which ones have been rolled, which ones haven't. You need to put tobacco in there before you shut it. Otherwise it will not work. Shut the door. I don't know about you. This looks a whole lot easier than theirs. The classic tubes, the other ones I've shown you. I don't know with this machine. I never had a problem with the other one. I have the black one and a white one. I had the white one for three years, left it at my sister's, so I had to get the black one. I needed one at her house anyway, so I don't have to worry about bringing it back and forth everywhere. Like I said, they're only $17, so three packs of cigarettes to pay for herself. I heard they're 10, over $10 a pack up in New York and Chicago where my mother's from. I used to get them just for sitting around and drinking, and partying. So I tend to smoke a lot of cigarettes and then next thing you know I'm like hey if five dollars six dollars seven dollars a pack of Marlboros starts to add up after a while I get this big bag of tobacco for twelve dollars boxes or tubes are two three dollars so he's good so eleven dollars plus two boxes of tubes fifteen I get two cards of cigarettes and I still have a little bit of tobacco left over.
see that's one of the classic you can see the little notch in there not that big a deal almost finished here rolling these I say pack pack and a half of cigarettes these five minutes I've been talking to you and I'm going to show you what else I do I see a lot of questions of people asking how do you get the cigarette the tobacco falls off the cherry falls off towards the end of the bag it starts to get dried up and stuff that's a little good because you got some uh, little long stringy stuff in there once it's all powder it's harder to slide the machine I just usually leave it in the side and try to mix it in with a little bit so it all stays together you don't want cigarette burns all over your car your carpeting, your house, and especially your lap. Seems to be all that. Done. Now I take these, I tip them like this. Even though they don't have the void here, where every other machine always does, and it stinks. Because you get to the end of the cigarette, start folding up, and that's where your cherry tends to fall off and burn things. These don't, but just to be on a safe side, I always do this anyway. When I'm sitting at home, I just roll them like this. Tap them down, that one is empty. Grab them like that and mush them down a little bit so that tobacco doesn't fall out as easily. And I keep them in my little shot glass on my nightstand so they're ready to go. Or when I'm traveling, I take them and I tip the ends, twist the ends up like that. It doesn't have to be pretty. Just, if you carry them around a lot, you're shaking in your pocket and stuff like that. The tobacco sometimes starts to go loose and start to fall out. So this extra two, three minutes, well worth it to me. What you get while full in there, what I find is the best for using for your pack is And I'll switch tin. Holds 18 cigarettes, fit perfectly. Been using these for five years. I got five or ten of them laying around. They said it holds 18 cigarettes. Shut the door, and you're good to go. I hope you like today's demonstration. I hope you like give the Powermatic a try. I'm not endorsed by the company. I'm just trying to save you money. And it's called pipe tobacco. It's not pipe tobacco. It's not that nasty, raunchy stuff. Actually, it has less chemicals. There's nothing sprayed on there. There's other stuff. My friend uses uh, American Spirit. He gets two packs out of a $7 bag. Hardly worth rolling your own cigarettes. These, I'll admit, a little raunchy at first, but you get used to them. And saving five, six dollars a day, it's definitely worth it to me. So. Give it a shot. Let me know what you like. Tried to steer you from some of them other fellas' videos. They got their thing down too, but they got their bag of tobacco over here, their box of tubes here, this over here, their big crank machine. And I think my weight is by far the best. So give me a like if you liked it, and let me know. Thank you, and have a good day.